Hello friends, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel, especially to uh, the new subscribers. There have been quite a few of you who have uh, newly subscribed to my channel, so welcome, thank you very much. Um, first things first is that sometimes I get into uh, this funk or I have these thoughts in my head where I want to film a video and I want to share something and, you know, get other people's intake on it as well and see how many people can relate. But I'm thinking, oh, you know, I have to do my makeup. I have to like, you know, set up everything super nice and neat. Um, because I feel like, especially obviously being a female um, and you see all these YouTubers or people on camera just looking flawless, but it takes so much effort. And I feel like by the time you know, I would be finished with my hair and my makeup and my outfits. Um, I would not be as inspired to film a video. So right now, here I am just chilling in my, my sweat clothes, my sweat clothes, my sweat pant, sweat pant clothes. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just got out of the shower. Um, so either way, I don't subscribe to any of that because this is really what I look like. This is what I actually look like. Uh, nobody is born with makeup and uh, uh, perfectly curled hair. So this is my actual face. This is what I look like. I've been breaking out because I would, I've been super stressed. Um, that's the reality. We're human. And this is me in um, very real human form. Um, having said this, <laughs> today I wanted to talk to you about the voice in our heads the voice in our heads that doesn't stop talking. Um, and if you are thinking to yourself, what voice in my head? That is the voice. Um, so if I don't talk right now, there's probably some kind of a monologue going on in your head. You know, the voice could be saying, why is she not talking? Uh, uh, you know, what is this video gonna be about? Uh, who is this girl? Why does her hair look so weird? Oh, where did you get this super cute uh, pink sweater? Like, you know, all these different things that you have going on in your head. That's the voice that I'm talking about. Um, and especially for me, gosh, I feel like it's always been this way, but especially the last maybe couple of months, my voice in my head has gone, the volume's a little too loud, let's just say. Um, I am very much in my head. I am working with a therapist. I am meditating. I am doing all these different grounding exercises to get into my body because I like sort of like dissociate and go in my head and I like have so many arguments with different people in my head and I'm like, it's not nice. It's not nice and it's very exhausting and mentally taxing. Um, and this morning I had this, I went through this little cycle that my mind goes through where I'm thinking a bunch of things and I'm uh, going through these different, not even real scenarios, pretending like they're real. And you know what? Like, please just, we're not gonna get into this. This is something that I'll keep for my therapist. Um, but I Googled uh, a video. Uh, I typed in Michael A. Singer uh, um, voice in our heads because Michael A. Singer uh, wrote this, these two incredible books. One of them is The Untethered Soul. Uh, 10 out of 10 highly recommend and that's what he gets into like this voice in our, in our uh, heads. And the other uh, book is The Surrender Experiment. So if you guys like to read these two books, like our, I can't recommend them enough. Um, so I was watching this video. I'm gonna, I watched two videos from his and I'm gonna link them below in the description. And one of them, he was, he was saying, you know, we have this voice in our heads that's always commenting and always saying stuff. And when you get triggered, for example, the voice in our heads goes, you know, oh my God, how could he do this? How could he say this? Oh, how come, you know, she did that? And oh, you know, I, I feel so disrespected and it just like keeps going and going, right? So that voice, that is not us. Those thoughts, they are not us we are the observer because we're the ones listening, right? It's like this voice is going on. It, it just keeps chattering, but we are the observer of it. And who we are is like consciousness, right? We are the consciousness, we are the observer, and those thoughts are just not us. And I feel like it's very difficult uh, to have that separation because also this is where a lot of self-doubt comes from. If you have that voice in your head that always tells you you're not good enough, um, you're not gonna succeed, things are not gonna work out, blah, 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 and you start believing it, it's very crippling, right? It's very crippling. Um, but if you kind of treat it as a, some, you know, Hold on a second, let me get my words straight. Um, I feel like sometimes I 
call it something different or I come up with like a name like Marge and I'm like, oh, that's just Marge going off, you know, telling me that I'm not good enough. You know, well, she'll she'll calm down at some point. Uh, it makes it it makes it easier because then you have the separation. You don't identify with it and you don't believe everything that it says. Um, but yeah, it's tiring and it's exhausting. So that was one part of the video that I watched where Michael A. Singer said, you're not your thoughts, right? You're not that voice that keeps talking. You are the observer of it. Um, and as you start observing it and you start letting it go, kind of like lessons and lessons. But for me, I get into these, um, it, it's like a hamster wheel. It's like a hamster wheel in which I get stuck and I just can go through the same cycle of thoughts or scenarios over and over and over and over again. Um, and the other video that I watched was he beautifully explained um, about a thorn. Uh, so for example, imagine that uh, all over your body you had thorns, like roses have thorns, right? Um, and anytime anything touched that thorn, it would hurt you, right? Because of the thorn is like pointed at you. So the spiky uh, bit is like, you know, let's say all over your skin, like everywhere. And then you're walking through the forest and a leaf touches it, it would hurt. Or if you want to hug somebody and somebody hugs you, right, it hurts. So you would try and go uh, through life avoiding everything that touches your thorn. But wouldn't the other solution be to just get rid of the thorns because then you don't have to walk around life so carefully being like, is this gonna hurt me? Is this gonna trigger me? Is this gonna touch my thorn? Um, and this is to say that oftentimes when we get triggered, it's not really about the thing that's triggering us. It's some, it's, it's, it's the thorn that we have, right? So we could go through life being triggered left and right all the time and being like, you know what? I'm just gonna live by myself in the middle of nowhere uh, because then at least I'm not gonna get triggered. Or we can just work and put the effort in, which is much more difficult to get rid of those thorns. And then we don't have to walk around life being like, oh my God, like, you know, this is gonna trigger me so I can't deal with this and I'm not gonna go there and this is gonna get triggered me because that's just, um, yeah, that's not fully living, right? And I feel like I have quite a bit of thorn, thor thorn action going on. Quite a bit of thorn action going on. Uh, question for you, do you have quite a bit of thorn? Thorn, such a weird word when you say it so many times. Do you have some thorn action going on? Like, do you have some thorns that you're like, oh man, like somebody can see the tiniest of thing that's related to this. And then it's just this disturbance in our minds. Um, and, you know, the, the more I live, the more I realize that at the end of the day, I don't want, you know, I don't want the money. I don't want the material success. Um, I don't want all these external things. I just want peace inside of myself because it's just freedom at the end of the day. And this is what Michael uh, Singer said as well. And this is what I feel like, cause you take yourself wherever you go. You bring yourself wherever you go. You can be in tropical paradise and still be miserable. Um, Sadhguru, um, who's um, a spiritual teacher, has said uh, you can be in heaven and still suffer, right? So it's not about the heaven, it's not about the external, it's all about what's going on inside of ourselves. And right now I'm doing some deep, 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 deep work by myself with my therapist, with all the other resources to change my patterns, change my habits, um, reprogram essentially the way I've functioned and uh, working on my triggers and what triggers me and questioning myself, asking myself, why does it affect me so much? Why do I have such reactions? And it's exhausting. It's very tiring. Um, like I talked in my previous video, uh, that inner work is very, very tiring. Um, but I just wanted to make this video as a reminder to you and to me that you are not your thoughts. I am not my thoughts. Um, so don't get trapped into believing everything that that voice tells you in your head, because it can be a trap and it can be very crippling and it can um, mess up so many things and, and disturb us, right? Um, and we just want to feel at peace inside of ourselves. We don't want our inner world to be hectic and disturbed because that's just, it's very tiring and it's not fun and it doesn't bring fulfillment or joy at all. So this is a reminder, you are not your thoughts. I'm gonna link those two videos by Michael A. Singer uh, below. Um, and the other thing, question for you, because one thing that I really want to make sure that comes across through my content and this channel is that 
I always talk about the importance of inner work and I always talk about how important it is to question ourselves. And I always say, become the researcher of your own self. And that's not an easy task and it takes such a long time. Um, but I want to make sure that in my content, I don't talk in like in very generic, ambiguous term of like, oh yeah, you know, so I'm going through some difficulties or yeah, I'm working on myself. Like I want to show you all what it looks like in action. What does it look like to work on yourself? What does inner work look like? What does it mean? Or how does it look in action when you overthink something or when you listen to that non-stop chatter in, in your head. Um, and the other thing that I started doing a little bit, little by little is breath work uh, because it really gets me in my body. Uh, it feels very uncomfortable for me to do breath work. But if you'd like to see me make a video about breath work and actually show you what it looks like and you know um, talk about my experience as I do it, please let me know. Um, I really just want this to be like a hub or a, um, a beautiful nurturing environment um, where we can talk about our inner experiences and what it is that we're working on and working through um, as a way to support each other because it's the best thing that all of us can do in this world to help the world is work on ourselves because as we heal ourselves we heal the world and it it's like a ripple effect so yes that is it for me um Thank you for all the new people who have uh, come here and uh, joined. Uh, if you are new, please introduce yourself below in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear from you. I always love reading comments and talking to everybody and somebody will spark my thought or suggest me a book to read. Uh, it's always very, very nice. So thank you so much for being here. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.